Namaskar. What if I told you that thousands of years ago, Hindu scriptures described scientific truths that modern science only recently confirmed? Imagine a time when the earth was believed to be flat and the center of the universe. Yet ancient Hindu astronomers clearly explained that earth actually revolves around the sun centuries before Copernicus. In this video, we'll explore 10 astonishing examples from atoms and molecules to gravity and even plastic surgery, where ancient Hindu wisdom anticipated discoveries that continue to amaze modern scientists. Get ready to expand your mind and see history in a whole new light. Earth is round and rotates. Modern science credits the Renaissance astronomers like Nicholas Copernicus and Galileo Galilei for proving Earth's rotation and heliocentrism. But long before, the ancient Indian astronomical text, the Surya Siddhant, composed around the 4th to 5th century CE, clearly states that Earth is spherical or gola and rotates on its own axis. In chapter 3, verses 6 to 7, the text explains, The sun never really sets or rises. It is the rotation of the earth that causes the apparent movement of the sun and creates day and night. This early understanding of earth's rotation and spherical shape predates western scientific discoveries by more than a thousand years, showing the advanced level of ancient Indian astronomy. Atoms and Molecules The concept of atoms is central to modern physics and chemistry, formally developed in the 19th century by scientists like John Dalton. However, this idea was present in ancient India much earlier. The Vashishika school of philosophy, founded by the sage Kannada, also called Kashyap, around the 6th century BCE, proposed that everything in the universe is composed of tiny, indivisible particles called Parmanu, essentially atoms. Vashishika taught that these Paramanus combine in various ways to form larger objects or molecules, explaining the diversity of matter. This theory included the concepts of atoms having qualities and motions, anticipating modern atomic theory and molecular science by over two millennia. This ancient philosophical system laid the groundwork for a scientific understanding of the material world that remarkably parallels modern atomic theory. Gravity The formal scientific understanding of gravity began with Newton in 1687, who described gravity as a universal force pulling objects toward each other. Newton's laws explained how planets orbit the sun and why objects fall to earth. However, ancient Hindu texts like the Manusmriti, written around 200 BCE to 200 CE, mention the concept of an invisible force that keeps everything grounded on earth which aligns with the basic principle of gravity. In Manusmriti, it is explained that Earth's natural tendency is to pull objects toward its center, preventing them from flying off into space. This idea shows an intuitive grasp of gravitational attraction long before modern physics formalized it. The Big Bang Theory Modern science credits Edwin Hubble and George's Lemeter with the discovery of the expanding universe leading to the Big Bang Theory in the early 20th century. This theory states that the universe began as a singular, extremely hot and dense point around 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since. Remarkably, a hymn in the ancient Hindu scripture, the Rig Veda in Mandala 10, Hymn 129, known as the Nastya Sukta, dated roughly between 1500 and 1200 BCE, poetically describes the creation of the universe from a singular source. It talks about the universe emerging from a state of non-existence and one being that expanded to form all things. The similarity between the Rig Veda's description and the modern Big Bang theory is a profound example of how ancient Hindu sages conceptualized cosmic origins thousands of years before modern science. Plastic Surgery and Medical Science Modern plastic surgery developed over centuries with major advances in the 19th and 20th centuries. Yet, the foundations of surgical science and reconstructive techniques were laid thousands of years ago in ancient India. The Sushruta Sanhita, 
attributed to the sage Sushruta around 600 BC, is one of the earliest known texts on medicine and surgery. It contains detailed descriptions of surgical instruments, procedures and techniques, including what is recognized as the earliest form of plastic surgery. Sushruta described techniques for reconstructing noses and ears, performing skin grafts and treating wounds and fractures with remarkable precision and care. His systematic approach to surgery and understanding of anatomy predates similar developments in the West by millennia. This ancient medical text shows that Hindu scholars had advanced knowledge of medical science and surgery long before modern medicine emerged. Multiverse The idea of multiple universe or a multiverse is a cutting-edge concept in modern physics explored through theories like quantum mechanics and cosmic inflation. Scientists today speculate that countless universes exist beyond our own, each with different physical laws and realities. Surprisingly, this concept finds echoes in the Bhagavad Puran and the Vedas composed thousands of years ago. The Bhagavad Puran describes innumerable universes, each with its own creation, sustenance and dissolution overseen by different cosmic beings. Similarly, the Vedas speak of countless realms and cosmic planes, implying a vast multiplicity of worlds beyond our immediate perception. This ancient understanding of a multiverse predates modern scientific theories by millennia, showing that Hindu cosmology embraced the idea of infinite realities and universe long before contemporary science. Binary Number System The binary number system, which uses only two digits, 0 and 1, is the foundation of modern digital computing. It was formally developed by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in the 17th century, revolutionizing mathematics and computer science. Surprisingly, the earliest known description of a binary-like system appears in ancient India in the work of the scholar Pingala, who lived around the 3rd to 1st century BCE. In his treatise called the Chanda Sutra, Pingala described a system for analyzing poetic meters using short and long syllables, which can be interpreted as binary digits. Pingala's method for enumerating meters effectively uses binary numbers to represent patterns of syllables, making his work one of the earliest known descriptions of binary mathematics. This ancient insight laid important groundwork that would much later influence the development of binary systems fundamental to computer science today. Water Cycle The scientific understanding of the water cycle, how water evaporates, forms clouds, and falls as rain was developed in detail in modern science during the 17th and 18th centuries with scientists like Pierre Perrault and Edmi Marriott conducting key experiments in the 1600s. Surprisingly, the ancient Vedas, especially the Rig Veda, contain hymns that describe aspects of this cycle thousands of years ago. The Rig Veda, Book 1, Hymn 164, poetically describes how water rises from the earth and returns in the form of rain, maintaining life and fertility on the planet. One verse says, From the waters, the earth is nourished, and from the waters, the skies are filled with clouds. These Vedic hymns reveal that ancient sages had an intuitive grasp of the water cycle, long before it was scientifically explained, demonstrating their deep observation of nature's rhythms. Heliocentric Theory The heliocentric model, which states that the Earth and other planets revolve around the Sun, was formally proposed in the West by Nicholas Copernicus in 1543. This revolutionary idea changed our understanding of the solar system. However, ancient Indian astronomer Aryabhat, born in 476 CE, presented concepts in his work, the Aryabhatiya, that suggest a heliocentric view of the cosmos. Aryabhat explained that the apparent daily motion of the stars is due to the rotation of the Earth on its axis, and that the Earth revolves around the Sun. Aryabhat's ideas were far ahead of their time, and challenged the belief that heliocentrism was a solely Western discovery. This ancient insight highlights the advanced astronomical knowledge present in Hindu scholarship 
over 1500 years ago evolution of human the modern theory of evolution formally presented by charles darwin in 1859 explains how life on earth evolved from simple organisms over millions of years to complex beings interestingly ancient hindu scriptures seem to symbolize this progression through the dashvatara the 10 avatars of lord vishnu the sequence of avatars begins with matsya the fish representing aquatic life followed by kurma the tortoise symbolizing amphibious creatures next is varha the boar representing early land mammals and narsimha the half man half lion symbolizing transitional species between animals and humans the progression continues with vaman the dwarf and later human forms culminating in lord ram krishna and kalki the future avatar representing a fully evolved human or enlightened being this sequence remarkably parallel stages in biological evolution from aquatic creatures to amphibians mammals and eventually humans reflecting an ancient understanding of gradual development over time as we have seen ancient hindu scriptures contain remarkable insights that align closely with many modern scientific discoveries from the vast cosmos and the nature of light to the mysteries of life and the universe the vedas and other texts reveal knowledge that continues to inspire us though science has advanced tremendously and unlocked countless secrets there remains so much more to explore many profound truths that were already mentioned thousands of years ago in the ancient wisdom of the vedas this reminds us that our quest for understanding is ongoing and respecting this timeless knowledge can expand our appreciation of both science and spirituality thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out the next one where we explore the 14 lokas of hinduism and uncover their deeper significance in detail